WB Games, I feel like we really need to talk for a minute because I am so disappointed in the amount of trash that you guys have been releasing for almost the past, what, three years now? I mean, what was Gotham Knights and what's going on with Suicide Squad? I mean, the only good thing that we have gotten from WB Games right now is only an announcement from Wonder Woman. And I'm extremely excited for that game. I'm hoping that game does numbers and it actually introduces more people into Wonder Woman's world. But with games like Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad, games that look and played horribly i mean concerning gotham knights like gotham knights is an okay game i don't want to bash on it too much because i feel like so many other go to youtubers did already but it's like damn i was really hoping that that game would actually revolutionize a much more possibly cartoonish but more realistic gotham nightwing red hood batgirl and robin like that sounds like a fire game it does but i feel like just the execution of what happened and how the story played out the gameplay was just whack and everything thing about it it was just so lackluster literally every time i turn on the game i just stare at the screen <laughs> i stare at the screen and i'm just like why am i playing this and I just cut the game off. I'm sorry. Like, it's just so unbearably boring. Like, I finished the game. The ending was just really stupid. Bruce sacrificing himself again for some unknown reason. Why I feel like they could have kept him for, I don't know, maybe a story DLC where we actually get to play as Batman, seeing as he is your literal moneymaker. But I don't know. Other than that, I just felt like the ending was horrible. The combat was so mid. Everything about the game just didn't feel right and then we kind of go off to suicide squad and the thing going on there and it's like you know with the whole battle pass and the looter shooter and kind of them detaching from the whole free flow combat which i feel like is what made the arkham game so special was the free flow combat especially when in the arkham knight dlc packs when we had the harley quinn one and we were seeing her just going fucking ham on cops and whatever it was just so cool so great and i feel like it really made her into her own character and honestly i'm not gonna lie i knew like i said before i knew going in that this was going to be a looter shooter but i was kind of hoping that we would see at least a little bit more of that arkham free flow combat and i was really hoping that we could possibly see more of that with deadshot with king shark and i thought man wouldn't it be amazing seeing how captain boomerang with the feeling of free flow combat but with his own style the same thing with robin nightwing red hood harley quinn catwoman like the possibilities just seem so endless and look where we're at right now like wb games y'all gotta do better at this point release another arkham game with batman i mean i do gotta say first rest in peace to kevin conroy you are the goat you are the definition of batman every time i look up batman he honestly got me more into the character even though i'm not really a batman fan he really got me more into that character and he really introduced me more into his world playing the arkham games with, with arkham asylum being my absolute favorite of a banger game i mean arkham city amazing arkham knight chef's kiss but something about arkham asylum to me is what made me fall in love with the arkham series considering that this game is what revolutionized the superhero gaming world and showing that yes you can actually make a superhero game but give it its own creativity within its own world without having to make it into a movie tie-in or a cartoon tie-in or any kind of tie-in it was its own thing and it's what made it special the atmosphere of arkham asylum is just so amazing the characters the combat i mean the combat was kind of wacky you know for it being a very very old game in like what 2007 but still everything about that game was just so amazing now let me stop glazing over this game because i know people gonna be like yo you mad d writing right now i'm sorry i just gotta give respect to that game but just kind of going back to WB Games, and I feel like if you guys just make another Arkham game, if you give him that sort of revolutionary just gaming experience again, kind of give fans that, hey, here's a Batman game. We know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. You know, like we gave y'all Gotham Knights. It was a dut. We'll, we'll do better. We'll just give y'all another Arkham game with Batman. I don't know. Just do like a Batman Beyond game with Terry McGinnis having the same flow with Arkham Combat. Don't make it the same thing as with Batman, but just kind of give it its own personality and just build upon it make it into a very techno looking gotham make it into a very dark story with terry trying to find his own as being batman i know that some people would want kevin conroy to be back as old bruce wayne but we know that's not going to happen unfortunately 
but I feel like they could probably do something else, hire another actor, like maybe Roger Clark Smith, just kind of go with him, the same person who did Batman in the Arkham Ordens game, which I don't know why WB keeps on ignoring, but just kind of hire him back, have him do like an older Bruce Wayne, older Batman, and him training Terry, and just kind of going through that little story, and just kind of just delving into that kind of world. I feel like that would be so amazing. It would be so cool for all fans to experience, and I feel like it's something that WB Games need. We need a Batman game, and this is coming from a non-Batman fan. I feel like if WB Games were to make another good-centered Batman game like the old days, that's literally money sitting on the table right there. No, but seriously, just think about it. If they were to make another Arkham game, whether it be from Bruce's perspective, whether it be from Terry's perspective, they would literally make more money, which could also result in them making other games and, and then funding more games to make on other characters like Superman, The Flash, Green Lantern, all these other characters I've been begging for for a long, long time. I feel like they need to play the long game, make another Batman game, get the money, kind of fund it up a little bit, and then, you know, just kind of start funding more projects on other characters while you're also doing other sorts of Batman stuff. Or, you know, plan B, you could probably just license characters to other studios so that we can get more characters instead of just relying on two fucking studios like Montreal and Rocksteady. Or you could just <laughs> give the Batman license to another studio so that we can actually get a Batman game alongside Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, and whatever the hell Montreal is working on next. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. This is pretty much going to be short. I just want to give my two cents on this. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about how they're just disappointed with WB Games. I am too. Like I said, I want to see more better games for WB Games. Other than that, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.